All right, y'all, so uh, today I'm gonna punch in my uh, truck. It's a 98 Chevy C1500. And this is the solenoid wire right here. Oh. So as you see, I think this might be my problem on my starter ain't wanting to do right. Oh, so to disconnect the starter, gonna be two bolts, one here, one here. Oh, the other week I already went to my starter to O'Reilly's. Oh, they got the starter up two times, no problem. So hooked the starter wire back up just a little bit ago. Oh, I went ahead and bought some uh, wire right here, 16 gauge. That looks roughly about the size. I don't know, this might be a little bit smaller. I think I'm gonna go back up there and go ahead and get the uh, 12 gauge that I had earlier. Cause yeah, that wire there does seem smaller. Hold on. All right, y'all, we're back up under the truck again. We just got back from the parts store. So, uh, all right, here's the original wire here. Well, that could have been the right size, but anyways, uh, I had 16 gauges a while ago. Might have been 14. But yeah, that's the wire. I think that's what happened. That's why my solenoid is not getting the proper power, possibly. Um, went back. I had a 14 gauge, I think. Went back. I got um, 10 gauge wire. Oh, if it's too big, it's not going to be a problem. I would have a little bit bigger wire than too small wire. And I'm going to change out that right there, that connector. That's pretty big for the uh, little 8 millimeter um, bolt that goes on there. So, yeah, I'm going to change that out as well. But So I'm going to just cut the wire about right there. And then, then redo it and then just get rid of this rest of this right here. Hopefully that will fix my problem, I hope. If not... I'm gonna be back to the drawing board again. I don't know why it's not going to crank up, or I might try to do a uh, push start on there. All right, so y'all, I got it. Uh, slide back up under here. All right, so I got it uh, spliced in. Uh, got it connected to wire. The, the 10 gauge wire was a tad bit uh, thicker to go in there, but uh, I was able to get it to work. Uh, don't, uh, when you cut it, don't uh, how you normally know, twist the wire around, make it tighter. Don't do that with that. Just make sure they're all close in together, and then just twist it as you're putting it in there. And then same thing for this connector right here. Um, it's a smaller connector, of course, but uh, it's definitely better than how big that was for a 10 millimeter or eight millimeter uh, nut or whatever. But anyways, I got a little extra cool wire on here so I can put it on there. Be pretty good. So I'm about to go ahead and put the starter back up there, put the wire on. Hopefully that'll be the problem to fix it. Stay tuned. All right, so we got the starter back in. Um, the way you're gonna do it, hold it by hand. And the way I did it, I got my extension right here. Uh, it's a half inch extension, probably about a foot or so. Some of that maybe just under a foot. With the 916 bolt on the or socket on the end, held it up on one hand. Um, had a bolt right here, pushed it all the way up. Uh, if you don't get this lined up into the groove, into the threads, um, these bolts they will just fall out like a missile. And uh, if you're up under it, it will hit you in the face. Be careful. Uh, this right here is gonna be in the way, and it's okay to move it, you know, slightly, you know, quarter inch, half inch, or you gotta do to get the uh, extension in there. For that solenoid wire at the top up here, that's actually an eight millimeter socket. And it's a lot better connection up there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Uh, there we go. But uh, yeah, this little guy right up, somewhere up in here, I don't know if y'all can see that or not from point the right thing, but I think that's it right there. Eight millimeter socket there. This one here for the, uh, battery cable for the starter wire itself is going to be a 13 millimeter socket best if you go ahead and tighten it up while it's uh down you know it's pretty snug on there so yeah that's that right there uh, turn right, there go. all right we're gonna go up there connect the battery cables and we're gonna try to turn the truck on see what happens all right another thing you want to do for that uh starter cable i don't know if y'all can really see it or not but right here, I saw uh, connecting down here. All right, so there we go, focusing right there. You gotta take that off and give you more slack to um, pull the cable down there. 
But the on my truck, the uh, starter and the uh, alternator cable are all tied in together. Um, I was going to buy a whole new cable for the starter to make it longer, but I was able to work with it, so I don't worry about it. Connect the uh, positive and the negative back, then be an 8 millimeter and a uh, uh, 14 millimeter. All right, so we got it all connected. I'm going to go here and uh, try to uh, crank it up. I really hope it works because I don't know what else to do. I don't have to put this thing in the shop. Uh. Got it. I want to drive this thing to work tonight, but uh, the other day I drove it to work and my buddy and I had to uh, get up under there and work on it some and pretty much uh, straight shot it from the uh, solenoid to the starter. But uh, got it working. That's good on that. Um, probably gonna drive it around a little bit around town. Make sure it does good. But, cause yeah, like I said, I don't wanna drive it and then be stuck at work. And turn it back off. And turn it back on. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, I have a good one, B plus. <laughs>